All right, we've been airing stories about this all year long. The fight to free Estella Fajardo, the woman in McLennan County Jail awaiting criminal and immigration charges. Today we finally hear her point of view in a Fox 44 exclusive in her own words. Fox 44's Renee Summerhour joins us live now in the studio. Now, Renee, you spoke with Estella. Yeah, that's right, Leslie and Robert. As you know, no one is allowed inside Jack Harwell, but with a little bit of help, we made a phone call to Estella to hear in her own words how she's feeling about her incarceration, incarceration and the support she's receiving and more. Now, Estella has been in jail for almost three years now after she was charged with organized crime and is on an ICE detainer that could get her deported back to Mexico. Now, the McLennan County community, all the members that you see here have been protesting all year to get her out along with her criminal and her immigration attorneys. Now, after allegations of sexual and emotional abuse from LaSalle prison guards, Estella is finally able to express her feelings for the first time with me over the phone. To trust the system anymore, you know, that's one of my uh, biggest fears. You try to do the best, you still feel like you get punished for doing the good things, you know. And coming up tonight at 9, we'll hear more from Estella Fajardo herself and the next steps her lawyers are taking to free her. We'll also have reactions from McLennan County Sheriff Parnell McNamara. Live in the studio, Renee Summerhour, Fox 44 News.